Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. You probably recognise straight away the audio is not the same as it was in my last sort of 10-15 videos. I'm not sure how good the video quality is going to be and I don't know how it's going to work. I have upgraded and downgraded my phone at the same time. I've went from iPhone to Samsung S10 Plus and to be honest I'm actually quite enjoying it. The reason I've changed over is just to reduce the cost of bills at the moment. Really that's about all I can think about at the moment. I've always been on the edge. I do love Samsung's products, but I've never quite got away from iPhone. So I've taken the leap of faith. I'm going to give it a bash and see how it works. Now I've tried the camera out in 4K, 60 frames per second. The video quality appears to be very good. However, it seems to split all the videos up into 7 minutes and 55 second excerpts. So my video will probably have jumps at 7 minutes and 55 seconds roughly as we go through it. Now I'm going to load up a soap today from a tub. It was sent from an unknown person. I'm just going to talk about the soap as I use it. I'm not going to mention any of the products or ingredients or scents or anything in it. I might mention the scent a little bit, but I'm not mentioning anything else. I'm sure there's other YouTubers, wet tubers, shaving aficionados out there that have this soap base. And we're just testing it out just to see how it goes. This person does make generally soaps and, and like normal soap products, but has branched out into shaving soap. So this is the first foray into shaving soaps for this individual or this company and I'm looking forward to testing it. Now, as you've probably seen from the photograph at the start, there's a new brush in the den. I was going to do an unboxing, but I was too excited. So the brush is that darn rob. Now, I've had a that darn rob brush in before. Let's see how the focus is on this. Not that great, I don't think. There we go. It's going to take me a little while to get used to this new camera. So there is the brush now. I've got a bit of the shakes as well. Let me see if I can get my broken arm up. Hold this a bit steadier. So I'm not sure what knot this is. I think it's a 26mm. It is a bulb knot, but I'm not quite sure. It's got a bit of gel tips happening. It is from that darn rob. And the colours in it are absolutely sensational. It's just pearlescent beauty. Let me see if I can turn this light on here. I can generally get the pearlescent to, to really shimmer, hopefully. Hopefully you can see that shimmer now on that pearlescent, just a sort of purpley, bluish, greeny glitter happening in there. But it's a stunning brush. It really is a beautiful brush. Oh, I ascertained this one from Craig Stanley of Face Fat and part of a trade. I had my Mervyn Cadman up for sale. It didn't, oh, didn't sell. Craig had this up for sale, it didn't sell. They're quite expensive brushes. And so we did a straight swap with them. Right, the scent on the soap. Now that's what the soap looks like. Now for the person that sent me this over, you'll know anyway from looking at it, but this is version one. There's also a version two, which is triple milled. And pretty, pretty hard, as you can imagine, being triple milled. So a reasonably soft soap. I was able to sort of squish it into my fingers into the sides of the bolt and the sides of the tub. So I've got to hold the soap like this, pretty much. And it's not too bad, so I'm going to just wet the knot again. And then load this up and let's just see what happens. I've been desperate to use a soap for ages. Hopefully this is in focus, I'm not sure. I don't know what the audio is going to be like. I'll mess about with that a little bit. Now the scent on this one is a very woodsy with a slight citrus hit to it. You can see that's just pouring out of the tub. Like I say, this person I don't think, or this company has never made shaving soaps before, first foray into it. I don't know how many versions came before this in terms of actual trying to get the formula right in. I'm going to really overload this because I've never used this knot before either. I don't know how it's going to perform. It's a very dense knot, but it's very soft, even when it's dry. Right, so I'm going to go with that. That's probably way too much. Well, it's not probably. It's far, far too much, but there is the brush loaded up. Now one thing I noticed with the Samsung, it takes a little bit longer to focus. It doesn't have that sort of blending focus that the, the iPhone has. The iPhone camera is very, very good. So this is a no prep shave. No prep at all. I had a shower earlier this morning, so this is literally going straight onto a, just a damp face. 
the soap seems to have held up very well. It hasn't actually taken much soap out of the tub, which is nice. My arm is getting better. I have to say, I'm not, I'm not in anywhere near the pain I was in, but I have been struggling to sleep. So I'm on some pretty potent sleep tablets at the moment. I used the first one yesterday and it got me through the whole night. I woke up feeling like shit, or really fatigued and, and exhausted and drowsy, but it got me through the night. Now, obviously I don't want to use that every day because it's, you, you can become dependent on it. It's just to try and get some of the, some of my strength back because I'm getting weaker and weaker and weaker as time goes on. Right, so here we go with uh, that darn rod brush. I think it's a 26 mil knot that's in this. Oh, it feels lovely. Let's just see. Yeah, very, very natural scent. Now this is scented with natural essential oils, I believe. There's no fragrance oils in here. Very similar to face fat. And to be fair, it's got a sort of similar sort of thing going on with it as face fat does. Right, I'm just going to dip the tips. I'll just read the notes out. Got lavender, sweet orange, spruce, spruce, hemlock, and patchouli. Oh, the knot in this brush is lovely. Believe it or not, when I seen this brush, I actually seen this brush drop. And at the time, and even at the moment, couldn't afford to buy it. It then made its way, I think, to Spencer eventually from someone else. And then to Craig Stanley at Face Fat from Spencer. And it's ended up in my den where I wanted it to go in the first place. So it worked out well in the end. Because I'm sure Craig will enjoy the Mervyn Cadman brush that we traded. It's a beautiful brush. This brush has got amazing face feel. my first hair there. Like I say, it's reasonably dense. I'm not worried about losing hairs in it, to be honest. I'm just going to work this lather for a little while. Lovely, lovely natural scent. Really nice. And it's got pretty good scent strength. I find sometimes with the essential oil scented soaps, they're not as strong. That's a lovely lather it's making. I'm just going to dip the tips again. And the person that's actually created this soap is very excited. I always am when I try new soaps as well. Especially if they're like pre-sale soaps, soaps that I've never actually touched anyone's faces and this is the sort of first foray into it. I obviously went through quite a lot of testing with Craig over at Face Fat and burned my skin several times getting reactions to the soap. Yeah, I'm really, really impressed with the ladder so far. Now I will mention this has a very minimalist approach to ingredients, and I like that. They are all natural ingredients. I'm not going to talk about the ingredients at the moment. I'll leave that for when this soap finally releases. What I will mention though, is it's vegetal based. So there's no animal fats in here. No animal products at all, so it's definitely vegan ready. Look, I'm really, that's, that's beautiful lather, look at that. Shock block. Right. Now one thing I'll see off the bat, just from getting on my finger and here and there when I was actually creating the lather, it's very slick. So hopefully that carries on into the shave. I'm just moving some things about yet because I can't get my razor. Right, the razor for today is the Masamuni Nadachi from Tatara. Now this has got 0.9 blade gap. Come on, focus your piece of shit. Bloody Samsung. I think that's out that's of focus again. So beautiful razor. 0.9 blade gap, not a fan of the handle, but it shaves very, very smoothly, very efficiently. And having, I think I've got about five days growth, 
It's going to hopefully chew through this, no problems at all. So here we go. I've got a sixth or seventh use Gillette Super Stainless Despoiler. All right, I'm back. Apologies for the sort of interruption there. It was nothing to do with the phone or the camera. It was all to do with the phone ringing. So I'm just going to lather up again. I'm just, I know this isn't great and it's a bit of a waste of time. I just want to rehydrate the lather. The lather stayed on there for that whole phone call, which believe it or not was about eight or nine minutes and it hardly budged. So it's certainly a ladder that doesn't dissipate. Right. Back to it. Oh, it tastes nice as well. I can really taste the orange in the soap. So I'm just going to make it just nice and light. I've just done this part, obviously. Never used the soap before, so that was the first time lathering it. I have to say, it's made a really nice lather. It was very protective and it's pretty damn slick. It's going to enter the sink because it's full of hair. But you can see there that that's chewed through most of the hair. So I'm hoping you can see it. I don't know how the focus on the camera is. It's going to take me a little while to get used to this. I don't know how echoey it is, it's probably very echoey as well. Right, let's have a bit of water and see what this is like. Right, the residual slickness uh, is okay. It's not great. It's definitely enough there to shave. It's not residually slick like some of the other guys out there, you know, grooming department and things, but it's not too, it's actually not too bad, let me see. Yeah, it's, it, it's good enough. We'll find out how good it is when I finally get to a head shave with it, but I won't be doing that today. This brush feels beautiful. Good scent strength, nice scent. It's a very natural scent, so it's not like it's not cologne or anything, it's just like a woodsy citrus scent. It sits around about a maybe a four and a half to be around about a five in scent strength out of ten. Right, and then a dachi across the green. Nice light touch. You can really feel the blade on it as well, which is nice. It's not a lot of blade feel in this razor, but there's enough. Oh, is, that, is that actually picking all my hair up? I don't know.
really nice. Right, I've got most of the soap off this time. Let's see what the residual slickness is like. Yeah, it's not... It's, yeah, I thought it would get better. If anything, it doesn't feel anywhere as residually slick as the last time. So residual slickness is a little bit lacking in it, definitely. Now, for face shaves, it's not a major issue unless you shave over the same area over and over again, which I don't. But for head shaves, residual slickness is quite important to me. I need the soap to be slick on my head. Otherwise, I run a major risk of cutting myself open. But the lather is excellent. It's easy to load. Very easy to build. It takes quite a lot of water. Now, it's not a heavy, dense ladder like Grooming Department or Excelsior for Barrister Man, Holy Cow. Now, I'm not an expert in what gives what. This feels to me like it needs a bit more glycerin. Maybe it doesn't. But it's the first use. And I've got to give it some time, I'll use it a little bit to see how it goes off camera as well. Certainly, when the lather's on your face, there's loads of slickness. You know, and that's, that's pretty dense lather. Come on. have to bear with me with this. I'm sure I'll get better with this camera. I can't see it focusing so it's not like I'm missing it. Another bonus though is I'm not having a reaction to the soap. The soap feels lovely on my skin. Well, it's performing well, and at the end of the day, you're in a great shave with no real weepers or anything like that. Is that an ingrown here then? A little bit of water. Yeah, the residual slickness doesn't seem to grow on it. It seems to stay sort of the same. I mean, it's there. That's reasonably easy to swipe my hand along, but it, it feels... It could be the razor taking it all off, in all honesty, I'm not sure. Very nice scent. It does remind me of a scent that I've used before. I mean, there's enough residual slickness to keep pattering away there. And all in all, I can't argue with the shave, it's really comfortable. Obviously the razor makes a difference. But the soap has to give the razor a platform to work on. Or a platform to work from, should I say. It certainly gives it, it's not a... By no means it's not a crap soap, it's a very good soap for a, a first time shaving soap maker. But, I'm expecting the post shave not to be that great, given that it doesn't seem to leave much behind. But we'll let that dry while that's drying. I'll rinse the soap out. 
I don't know whether they'll stick to the tins for the soap, but this does come in a tin. I do like the idea of the tins now, tins and just perks on their own cardboard. You know, I'm trying to, myself trying to move away from the non eco friendly type stuff. I'm trying, it's hard because obviously my favourite soap makers like Baxter and Man Face Fat and all the others use plastic tubs, so pretty difficult really to get away from it all. You can see that's after four or three passes and a touch up, there's loads left in that brush. I'm just going to rinse the brush out there. A few little red marks on my neck there, but nothing to do with its shape, it's just that must have already been there. I'm just rinsing the brush out now. I'm going to have a feel. My skin doesn't feel dry, so that's a, that's a bonus. I just was a bit worried that it wouldn't quite cut the mustard and post shave, given that Very easy brush to clean out. Given how dense it is, I thought that would have been a lot tougher. But that cleaned out really easy. That could be testament to the soap not being too oily as well. And that could be part of the reason why it's not quite as... It doesn't hang around as much during the shave. That's a beautiful note. Look at the bloom on it now. What a beautiful brush. So soft, really is soft, but it's still got the scrub there. Just checking to see if any of that's actual. I've got one weep of there, I think. And other than that, I've got a really close, clean shave. Post shave is surprisingly very good. My skin feels very moist. You can see that my hand is actually pulling my skin. I'm very lightly touching. You can see it's just tacking on there and pulling the skin. It's a post shave. Really impressed. Now, I'm not going to use a post shave product today, I'm just going to leave the soap as my post shave as is and just see how it feels, see how it feels the rest of the day. I'll talk about it in my next shave when I use version 2 of this soap, which would be the triple milled. I'm really happy with that, really happy. No, no weepers, no cuts, no irritation, no nothing. The brush was spot on, really happy. So the soap looks like that. I'm not sure whether that's how it's going to end up coming in these little tins, I'm not sure. But that was version 1 for the unknown person that makes it. Like I said, there'll be probably more people out there with this soap in the den now, testing it out. So hopefully the feedback is, is honest and good. Like I say, residually slick's not great. The actual loading, lathering, face feel, the density of the lather, how long it lasts. Like I say, I took a phone call there and it lasted through the whole phone call and I could still shave with it, no worries, it didn't go anywhere. The shaving with it, the actual shaving process when the lather's on there, it's nice and smooth. No issues at all, there's enough slickness on there to shave. I can really feel that post shave now. Feels lovely. Post shave's really nice. And what a cracking shave. The brush for today, as you've already seen, was that darn Rob. There is that massive knot. Really nice. I'm trying to get this to focus for you. Yeah, you can see a bit of that shimmer now, that looks beautiful. This handle is stunning, and I'm glad I got one with the uh, silver coin. I'm not a fan of brass coins, I'm not a fan of brass in general. But that's a, an absolutely stunning brush, it really is. Uh, the razor for today, let's see if we get this to focus straight away, there we go. I can actually get a little bit closer to the camera on this I've noticed. It is the Tatara Masamuni Nadache 0.9 blade gap. All stainless steel construction, bead blasted finish, perfectly made. It really is pristinely made. It's just a stunning, stunning razor. And it shaves very well. I will be honest and say I don't think it's quite as smooth as the Tatar as the calf. Having used the calf a little bit more recently off camera as well. And yeah, beautiful. Post shave is excellent, really nice. So a couple of little things going on with the soap that maybe just need a bit of boosting, a little bit extra. But as a if that's a first attempt, if that is actually the very first version of it and it hasn't been tinkered with at all, I'm really impressed with it. I think it's got it's gonna come good, I think. Really happy. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive, and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.